Greetings, fellow gore hounds, and welcome to a blood splattered vlog. I'm the horror guru. <laughs> and we just saw Turbo Kid. Holy crap. I fucking love this movie. <laughs> it's really <laughs> <laughs> We got our very own Turbo Kid here. Oh. Um, Count Jackula is a Turbo Kid at heart. <laughs> <laughs> um uh basically uh Turbo Kid, for those who don't know, is a, um, a movie produced by uh, uh, Jason Eisner the uh, of Hobo with a Shotgun oh, fame. And much like Hobo with a Shotgun, which is just a, a film filled with 80s nostalgia, Turbo Kid is a movie that is filled with 80s and 90s nostalgia, kind of combined into this really weird amalgamation. So you got, like, the post-apocalyptic wasteland of 80s movies, but you have, like... You have like uh, uh, 80s and 90s video game references, like like Turbo Kid himself is kind of like Mega Man. Yeah, yeah. And and you have like um uh uh let's uh, the far off future of 1997, like. <laughs> okay, that's not enough. Holy shit! Take that off, man. Take that Holy off. Holy shit! Oh. I feel like I'm just like going off a mile a minute. So, uh, oh man, help yeah. me steer the ship. <laughs> oh, okay. Quick! Whoa! Oh, 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 shit! Oh, we're gonna crash, <laughs> and it will inexplicably explode because that's the kind of movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The movie is really fun, surprisingly sweet and romantic. Yeah, that part I was not expecting at all. I had the same experience with American Ultra, where I expected it to be, you know, gory and fun and nostalgic, but I did not expect to have this, like, touching romance at the center of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really, really cute romance cute. story in the middle yeah. of it, you know? It's kind of amazing. And yeah, no, like, the movie is gory. Yeah, this movie Fuck. is super gory, and I fucking love it. Like, it's as gory as a Paul Voorhees film. Cool. But it's 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 a kid on a fucking bicycle, like shooting laser blasts out of his arm at at fucking like people that look like they're rejects from like a like eighties cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, they look like Mad Max rejects. Yeah, you know? yeah, and there's like one guy named like Skeletron who's got like a skeleton face, and and he's got like an arm with like a saw on it, and he can either shoot the saws or he can attack with the saws. Yeah. Like, and the big boss guy, the big evil boss, is played by Michael Ironside. <laughs> yes. Who is apparently, it's just his job to just be in random shit yeah. now. He's taken over <laughs> Harry Dean Stanton's old job. He has just decided, you know, I, I think he's just decided in his old age, he's going to take on just as many fun roles as possible. Between yeah. Between this and, like, extraterrestrial. Oh my God. Yeah, I like, it, it's really weird because, like, you would think they would have been like, and Michael Ironside. But he's always, like, the hidden, you know, like, the, the hidden person. Rise in the serial of the movie. Like, I even saw the trailer for this, but I did not remember that he was in the movie. No, or, or... no, they don't draw attention to the fact yeah. it's my, Michael Ironside at all. So, like, when it was, like, Michael Ironside in the credits, I'm like, what, well, he's in this movie? That's fucking awesome. And then when it cut to him, I'm like, oh, man, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like he's a Zeus mask, and when he takes the Zeus mask off, he's got like an Odin eye patch. Yeah, and 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 he's he's uh, and the the Zeus helmet is very obviously a reference to Time Bandits. Yes, 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 and the eye patch kind of reminded me of uh, of Waterworld of all movies. It's, oh my God, you're yeah. right. Yes. <laughs> He kind of looked a little bit like Dennis Hopper in Waterworld. Um, oh my god, I totally didn't catch that, <laughs> yeah. but you're right, yeah. Yeah, with all the post-apocalyptic references, I did not expect Waterworld to be like included there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And water is a big part of the, yes. the world. Yes, it is a, wa a war over water, so th there you go. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't fit Tank Girl in there somewhere. Oh, oh that would have been amazing. Yeah, look, look, I'm not saying Tank Girl is a great movie, but I actually kind of like Tank Girl. And if there was a reference to Tank Girl that we missed, feel free to let us know oh, below. Oh god, yeah, put that in the comments. Because I'm sure there are references that, that we did not catch because they were they were throwing it at you like one after another. Oh my another. god, yeah, that movie just kept going. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like, like I did not even expect, like, like, like there's a point where, 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 um, I guess we'll start getting into spoilers yeah, here. Yeah, spoiler territory. Spoilers, uh, non-spoiler review, it's fucking great. Watch Turbo Kid. If you were a child in the 80s or the 90s, this movie is an amalgamation of all your favorite yeah. things. Or if you're just like a person who's just like a younger person who's just like obsessed with 80s-ness, yes. you gotta watch Turbo Kid. Absolutely. It's on Amazon Instant. If you got Prime, it's free. So go watch it. Even if you gotta pay the five bucks, completely worth it. Absolutely. All right, so now we're into the spoilers. <laughs> 
There's a character in the movie named Apple who you learn over the course of the movie is a robot left over yeah. from the robot war. war. Yeah. Um, so obviously at some point Terminator happened yeah. and led to where they are now. Um, which is uh, which actually is an interesting explanation for why everyone just rides bicycles and not like motorized vehicles. Yeah, they they managed to justify <laughs> the stupid premise of everyone rides BMX bikes. Yes, not which expecting. is also a reference to BMX bandits. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, you're like, what? Yeah, it was fucking great. What? Like they they went they got in deep with like. 80s like direct to video movies man like definitely all the way and like like as it, it, to go into just the random references they'll have is that like the robot gets hurt over the course of the movie and she has this little gauge of like when she's going to completely lose power and when she's going to die and her gauge are little Zelda hearts. Yeah, she has a Zelda And when she runs out arm. of hearts, then she's gonna die for good. <laughs> and, and so you, and, and there are points where like, when Turbo Kid first gets his turbo glove that, that he uses to shoot like Mega Man blasts at people, like he holds it up in the hand and has like a straight up like Thundercats moment yeah. with it. <laughs> and when he's firing at people, it is, it, he is just straight up Mega Man, you were the one who pointed out like, oh my God, he's Mega Man and she's Roll. Basically, yeah. basically. I'm All like, they needed oh was my, a dog. Yeah. <laughs> if they had a dog, it would have just been complete. That's what Turbo Co Kid 2 needs to be. It needs to be yeah, a point as dog. Kid needs to have a dog. You know, he's already lost the love of his life. Now we just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Spoiler. She doesn't make it. Yeah. You know. Um, uh, so Apple is... Oh, Apple's amazing. That's a great character. Well, she starts out like she's like the creepy anime girlfriend who just like attaches herself to the male character. And you're like, are they doing this on purpose? Yeah. And as it goes, they're completely doing it on purpose because he's drawing a little picture of her and it's like a little anime girl. Yeah. She, she like, reminds ah, got it. She reminds me of characters kind of like, like not the most perfect example of it, but like the kind of character she is, like the character who just kind of shows up randomly and attaches themselves to someone like Ed in, in Cowboy Bebop. I Actually, the one that she reminded me of the most was um, Lum. She reminded me of Lum. That is a good example. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, like it's just a particular archetype that shows up in anime a lot. Yeah, and, kind of the the origin of the like manic pixie dream girl, but the way that the setting justifies her being that way is she's a robot. Yeah, yeah. And she's she is a robot. designed for friendship. Yeah, and she's so a friendship she's... robot. She's designed to attach herself to someone and basically just follow them and make sure that they are not lonely. Yeah. <laughs> And and so like she develops this friendship with Turbo Kid, who is this poor kid who's been left alone in the wasteland because some point in time some evil guy killed his parents. Yeah, who, the par who, who the who the evil guy? It was Zeus. Yeah, it's a spoiler. It Zeus. It's Michael Ironsides. <laughs> Also, in the flashbacks, the parents are played by two of the directors of the movie, which I didn't yeah. know until afterwards. Yeah, we found that out yeah. right as we were setting up the camera. Which was a pretty cool factoid. Um, my God, this movie, like, I know we're all over the place here, but it's kind of hard oh to go plot by pl plot point with this because just every five seconds we're like, oh man, that was awesome. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a pretty, it's a real, like, it's, for lack of a better way of putting it, it's a really simple plot. Boy meets girl, boy loses girl, girl, boy has to save girl, boy then must reconcile, you must kill the man who killed his parents. Yeah, yeah. You know, like very, very, very simple. And they managed to just do it. And one of the, re oh God, one of the references I couldn't believe was there was a reference to the movie Over the Top. Oh yes, Which, yes. if you don't know, is a direct video Stallone, I think pretty sure it's direct video arm wrestling movie. Actually, I think it did go to theaters. I think that actually did have a theatrical run at one point. Okay, but the point is it's a Sylvester Stallone in, in a movie about yeah. arm wrestling. Yes. He's got to arm wrestle to get his truck So back. there is a combination of like a Clint Eastwood uh, Western character mixed in with Crocodile Dundee yeah. and Stallone from Over the Top and his name, I forget his name, it, it's it's something the arm wrestler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like cowboy guy, they arm wrestle. Yeah, and so he's, he's like this this lone cowboy who just kind of strolls in, arm wrestles and beats a bunch of guys, befriends Turbo Kid, and then ends up getting finding. Then his brother ends up getting killed by Zeus, and then he and Turbo Kid must defeat Zeus. Yeah. Um, but like his big thing is that he's an arm wrestler and he's never been defeated. And then fucking Zeus takes his arm and then he gets a robot arm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it just, the thing just keeps going. It's a good, the funny thing is, is like, 
halfway through the movie, I was convinced we were already at the climax. Yeah, yeah. Because so much had happened. I, I had the same exact feeling. Um, and Jesus, like... Yeah, yeah. I'm amazed at... There's... Look, the funny thing is, is there are a lot of events that happen, but there ain't a lot of plot getting in the way of that movie. It's no, very simple. No, plot's very simple. You know, you you know, you know everyone's motivations. They're all clear cut. You know, Turbo Kid, he, Turbo Kid just wants his friend back. Yeah. You know, Turbo Kid, and then once friend is hurt, Turbo Kid wants to f- save friend. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, friend Zeus, robot girl just wants to be his friend. Zeus yeah. just wants to rule everybody. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, cowboy guy just just, just wants, wants revenge, revenge because yeah. Zeus killed his killed his uh kills brother took his wrestling arm yeah and yeah. then once Turbo Kid puts together that Zeus is the one that killed his parents then he wants revenge also there's a period of point in time when Zeus is kind of responsible for what he thinks is uh um uh uh Apple's death um which leads to more revenge yeah 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 there's a lot of revenge in this movie yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like like Mad Max, there's a lot of revenge. <laughs> yeah, there was. I, I I felt a little bit bad because at the end of it, you kind of want Apple to live, but you realize because of the way the movie has been going, what she had has to, to yeah. die. She she had to become one with the stars. stars. Yeah, because that's one of the things they start talking mm-hmm. about, which is like all the stars up in the sky are all the people who died in the apocalypse. Yes, you know, in the Great War sure. before <laughs> that left the scorched land. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> um. Uh, fuck. I felt that the, 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 he has to walk through a, a toxic waste zone to yeah. get a new body for, for Apple, the robot girl. And it was and like, I, it was like a dinosaur tar pit or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, it's like a dinosaur tar pit. But what the thing I kept, because the smoke was green, all the liquid was green, I was like, oh, it's a toxic Avenger. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And then she comes across the robot, the robot graveyard. Yeah. Where she, she, where he tries to attach a new body for, for Apple. And, and he does, and he fixes everything with duct tape. Yes. Know? Everything in this in this in this movie, he either fixes or constructs with duct tape. So when he creates a new weapon, he just takes two things, duct tapes duct tape duct tapes them together, and then uses that as the weapon. Or Apple gets damaged, I'm just gonna duct tape her head onto a new a body. New head, yeah. Which <laughs> explains why we have this. Yes. Because if There's, you've already seen the movie, you know why we have this. Yes, yes. This is my gnome stick! stick. Oh my god. That point in the movie. <laughs> Was the point where I fell in love with Apple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like Turbo Kid's like, well, if you're gonna wander the wasteland, because he still thinks she's a human at this mm-hmm. point, you need a weapon. And so he duct tapes like a garden gnome to like a stick and gives it was a it baseball to her. bat, a baseball broken baseball bat. Yeah, yeah. and gives and she, it to her, and she just gets it. And she's like, "This is, this is amazing. This is my gnome stick." <laughs> yeah, it just starts swinging in the air. It just, yeah, it was amazing. This is great. I fucking I give this movie fucking five gnome sticks out of five. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. I love the, oh God, I love the moment where they're like trying, they're like, all right, they're like trapped. They got like a bunch of guys around them, like one armed, uh, arm wrestling cowboy guys. Like, all right, here's what we do. You do this, you do that. You attack the big one. And as soon as he says it, she's like, right. She just immediately <laughs> runs over around. and just starts beating the shit out of him. <laughs> That was uh, that was great, and I love that moment where they're all pausing, just like, "Well, I guess that was well, our cue. That's our cue. Let's go." <laughs> Ugh, yeah, and I love I love in that I love in that scene the fucking dude who was obviously just the throwaway red shirt, who was just like, "All right, you attack the big guy," and you're like, "That guy's not gonna take the big guy." Yeah, <laughs> he just trips and stabs himself in the eye. Oh yeah, yeah, he doesn't I, even I, make I, it to the. Fight. We cannot stress the amount of gore no. in this film because you don't if you. Hadn't seen the trailer, you would not expect it from the movie you're watching. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it is no. They got they got that fucking like hose, that blood hose on everything. It's about probably about as bloody as Hobo with a shotgun. Uh, yeah, definitely. And characters that you love will die violent, bloody deaths. Like like th- th- there's just like no fucks given. Like just like yeah. oh, his mom dies and he like takes like a golf club to her head, just psh, just brain matter yeah, everywhere. Just- Oh, just nasty. Yeah. Like, I'm like, God damn it. Like, I'm so glad that there's some people out there who remember those kind of movies and are like, fuck it. Let's just make them again. Fuck yeah. 
Fuck yeah. God, like, I the 80s this. was a great time for those kind of movies, and I, I'm glad that there are people who are bringing that spirit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it to the French. God damn it. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Well, the, the, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. Like, in this I, case, actually, I don't know if they're technically French. I think they may just be uh, Quebecois. I mean, Canadian French. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, 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 obviously, this film was a Canadian New Zealand production, yeah. according, which is why that one guy... Um, oh my god yeah there's references to dead alive in this movie too oh yeah the, yeah that little rat, rat yeah little rat monster that was that looked a lot like the uh the, the monkey. monkeys absolutely um god i no holy crap man this movie is so we're good. just gonna end up telling you the whole movie because every fucking second of this damn thing is awesome <laughs> like, was there anything that you didn't like about the movie I, can't think of anything is my problem. I'm like, I, I can't think of anything that bothered me or that I can even nitpick. I was just happy with the way it was. Yeah, like, like every any any potential problem you had with the movie was answered by the movie. Yeah, yeah. Like you're like, wow, why is this girl so weird? Oh, yeah. Why is this guy such an ass? Oh, it seemed like everything that we could have nitpicked actually well, had a yeah. justification. Well, and, and any logical thing, like. They already established early on that he'll just fix anything with duct tape. So, like, if you're complaining about that by like the third of the movie, then you're just you're just you're just not paying attention. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting it. It's it's <laughs> like know? his mystical power. You know, it makes no logical sense in the real world, but in the reality of the in in the world that was the movie constructed, that is just par for the course. Yeah, you, yeah, you can just fix things with duct tape. That's just it. You know, oh, like, and, and I mean, it's a movie where a guy, like, finds, like, an abandoned, like, spacecraft and turns on the lights with one of those, like, Spencer, like, those little things where it's, like, a ball and, like, electricity is, like, shooting through it. And if you put your hand on it, it will, like, follow you. Like, he, like one of those, straight up one of those. They, they probably just bought it as Spencer. Yeah. He touches it. It turns on the spaceship. Like, <laughs> Hey, man. In the eighties, Spencer Gifts was the shiznit, man. Absolutely. If, if at that at that point you're you're criticizing the logic of like the technology, then yeah, because there's really there's really nothing to nitpick. It, it, it's, it's like really what it's good. like what it's like what um uh, Adam Green says about Guar. If you argue with Oris Arungus, you look like an idiot because you, yeah, that's what I feel like. If you nitpick this movie, yeah, if you nitpick this movie, you're just gonna look <laughs> stupid. Because the movie justifies everything it does. Oh, and by the way, dudes trying to look tough on BMX bikes is never not funny. Yeah, it is an inherently funny moment. And and the funny thing is, I like the hat trick they pulled with like Skeletron, where yeah. like he was simultaneously, I think you pointed it out, where he was, he's never not funny when he shows up on screen, like trying to look intimidating on his bike and his like ridiculously over the top, like it almost looked like a gore outfit. Yeah, yeah. He's never not funny, but they managed to instill such dread with him every time he shows up. Yeah, every time he shows up, you're like, oh shit, he's gonna fucking <laughs> yeah. kill a dude. Yeah, like, people are gonna fucking die. We're gonna lose characters here. Yeah. But he's never not funny looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look at him and you just smile. You're like, hey, he's back. Oh shit, someone's gonna get I almost killed. wonder, I almost wonder if he was related to, like, the like the two demolition twins from uh, from Hobo with a Shotgun. If there was, like, any relation. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh the plague? Yeah, the plague. Oh, man. Probably. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's that same basic concept, because like the plague, he doesn't really talk. Yeah, yeah. You know, the plague only has secret. that one line. And, and, and it's, there's, like, the secret, like, what's behind the mask? Kind of like how the plague had that, like, what's behind that door? That yeah. Door. Well, it's what, you know, but part of the way through the movie, you're like, no, 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 it doesn't matter. That's yeah. Just, that's just him. Yeah. Much like, you know, it's not going to be a Master Blaster reveal. It's more like uh, uh, the humongous, where you're like, oh, what's he look like behind the mask? It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. He's the warlord. It doesn't fucking matter. No, yeah. Well, it's, 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 like, it's like Master Chief. You don't want to see underneath the mask. Like No, that's... exactly. <laughs> you don't want to see beneath Master Chief. That's just his face. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which is why I was always just like, I don't know how they're going to do the movie, because like they, they, like, they got to do it like the Dread movie did, where he never takes the mask off. Otherwise, it won't feel like Master Chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in that movie, I was so glad that Carl Urban demanded that they never yes. show his face, because that Judge Dredd, that is Judge Dredd's face. Absolutely. You know? and, and, he, and, it was and this movie understood that. that kind of shit. You're like, oh, no, 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 we don't need to see what Skeletron really looks like. We just need to see him Skeletron the is the mask. Yeah, exactly. You know, that is who he is like you don't need to see underneath it yeah you know like michael ironside he was more than just the mask he sometimes wore like yeah you know and oh man 
The reveal of Michael Ironside as being a robot. I actually did not see that coming, and I should have. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> see it coming until the moment, until they started actually telegraphing it. Mm -hmm. Because they had... They hadn't really telegraphed it until the moment it happened, but you realize when they start doing it, you're like, oh, that makes complete sense. Absolutely. Now that I think about it, I think there's only one thing you could possibly nitpick for this, and it was something that your wife actually mentioned. Oh, yeah? Where it's like, where they're like driving through the wasteland, and it's obvious they shot it like in the winter, and there's like snow in the back. Oh, like, yeah. Like melting yeah. snow in the background after you have this whole plot about them like not being able to like have water. Have water, but yes, some for some reason, it's, there's <laughs> snow back there. Yeah, so yeah. you're just like, that's probably one. That's about the... <laughs> That's about, like, the only thing, though, as far as, like, actual, like, plot. Yeah, and, yeah. Plot's like, fine. God, plot's fine. Like, plot's the, fine. The fucking, the, the camera work was good. The effects were good. The soundtrack the is soundtrack awesome. The soundtrack is badass. I yeah. love, like, it's got, like, a nice John Carpenter 80s, like, dun 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 dun, dun theme. And it's also got an amazing theme song. It does. That sounds like it was straight out of, like, the Karate Kid or something. <laughs> Oh, you know, like I have expected it, just be like, you're the best. Stuff, right? oh, wow. <laughs> it's in that kind of spirit. It's, it's. Oh, man. So good. You um, gotta see it. You gotta see it. I, uh, if the idea of Gnome Stick doesn't sell you, I don't know what will, because Gnome Stick's amazing. <laughs> Go see Turbo Kid.